What's up guys? I'm Matt. The channel is Dollar Box Bangers and today I want to do a quick eBay sales video uh, for the last day or so. Uh, but what I really want to get into is I want to show you guys how to end and sell similar on eBay. Um, I wouldn't call it a trick but it's something that I use often and I, I truly believe that it helps uh, move, move product. So if that's something that you guys are not familiar with and you want to see how that's done, please stay tuned because that'll be the second part of this video. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting and I know for a fact that it's helped me sell some sell some cards that, you know, had been sitting for a long time. So stay tuned for that if you're into that sort of thing. So first up, uh, Martinez Speckle out of $2.99, first Bowman. That sold for $5.99. Second up, Kyle Manzardo, uh, Bowman Sterling Auto, $14.99, sold that too cheap. I regret selling that one for 14 15 bucks. Uh, Mike Trout, uh, Refractor, sold for $3.99. <clears throat> so once you, <clears throat> I did pay, I think I got the Manzardo at a card show for 8 bucks. So I'm using an $8 card cost on that one. Um, so you can see my, my card cost, my shipping fees, and then my the eBay fees, which is just the sold price times 15%. Uh, so <clears throat> money coming in was $24.97. Going out was 1403 for a daily profit of 1094. So I didn't get rich today. Sort of regret selling that one for for 15 bucks. I uh, would rather would have rather hung on to it than than that. But uh, it is what it is. So like I said, guys, this is the first part of the video, and, and stick around if you want to learn how to end and sell similar on eBay. Thanks. Hey guys, so I want to talk about end sell similar, uh, and it is a little different than relist. So what I pulled up here is. Uh, something you can just find on on Google. So if you relist an item, it will retain your wa watchers and listing data. If you end and sell similar, you will lose all of that. But what it does is it it acts as it creates basically a new listing. So I believe it changes the eBay item number associated with the original listing, which pushes it to the top instead of leaving it buried on page you know 25 or whatever. Um, so that's a that's a quick difference between this, and you can dig into more, that more if you'd like. Uh, but that's kind of kind of the main uh, positive of ending and selling similar. So I want to show you how to do that real quick. So I'm on my, my main page at eBay. So the first thing I do is I check my ended uh, folder. I want to make sure that that's, that's empty because I don't want to accidentally uh, double list something. So I, I click on that. It's, it's empty. So I'm going to go up to my active listings. So you can see I've got 828 active listings. I, I do 200 results per page. Now, one thing to keep in mind is I think I have like the 20 or $25 eBay store level, which I believe gives me like 10,000 free listings a month. Um, but keep that in mind. Uh, if, if you only have 200 listings, just know that, that when you end and sell similar, it does count as a new listing. So that will affect your, your um, you know, your, your threshold for the month. So anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to select all of these. I want to end these listings and I have these these are filtered by like my oldest listings as far as you know the date that I that I submitted them. So I'm going to end those my oldest 200. I'm just going to click end listing. And so now you can see it went from 828 to 628 active listings, but I want to go, I want to click on ended. So now what we see are the 200, the 200 listings that I just ended. So what I want to do now is I'm going to click this button over here by actions, because that's going to select them all. I'm going to select sell similar. And then from here, you can do a lot of things. You can change the title, you could change the price, you could change the format, amongst many other things. You can do bulk edits uh, if you want to. I don't want to mess with any of that. I just want to, I just want to get them submitted. So I, I hit that box up here because that selects every listing. Then I go down to submit all 200. And as you can see, I haven't reached my threshold yet. So these 200 listings are still free or uh, paid for, you know, in, in my, in my monthly fee. And now they're they're live again. So my active listings should be back up to 828. Let's check those. It is, so that's good. Now the last thing I want to do is go back to ended. Not sure what I clicked there. 
Let's try this again. Okay, so I'm back in my ended folder. I want to select all actions, delete. I want to get those out of my ended folder. So, so what I've just done is I, I basically, I hate to use the word relisted. I mean, that's, you know, I ended and sold similar, uh, but I took my 200 oldest listings and basically renewed them, I guess is, is a better term. Um, and so what, you know, that, that puts them to the top of the, of the search results, at least for a couple of days. And um, I have had great success with this. You know, I, I don't know if I call it a cheat code or whatever. I mean, people do this all the time, but I, I've, it really, really helps in, in my opinion. It, it, you know, you'll, you'll start selling um, items that have been sitting around with, with very little views or interest. Um, and, and I challenge you, you know, definitely look at your analytics page where it shows, you know, your page views, your impressions. And, and, and those graphs, I, I, I bet you money after a few days, you'll start seeing those graphs tick up. And the, the more page views and impressions you get, you know, the more stuff you're going to sell. It's it's pretty simple. So anyway, this is something that's really helped me uh, start start increasing my sales volume on eBay. And, uh, you know, if, if that's something you guys are into, I recommend trying it. It's it's very easy. Just uh, just keep in mind they do count as new listings. So so, uh, don't you know, don't go over your limit, um, on, you know, unless you want to pay for it. But anyway, guys, so hopefully you found this uh, helpful and give it a shot. Thanks. See you on the next one.